Cancer. What's going on, everybody? It's Ant from Cancer Moon's Tarot, and I'm coming at you guys with your April 2023 tarot reading. How are you? Hope you guys are doing well. Just want to mention before we start, if you're interested in personal services, products, and so much more, feel free to check out my website, cancermoonstarot.com. Link is going to be down in the description below. You can also check out the rest of the information I have provided in the description if you are interested. There's tons of stuff down there, too. Regardless, though, Cancer, how are we doing? Hope we're doing well. Uh, we're going to start out today's reading here with kind of like a freestyle, whatever comes out comes out and then we're going to move into more of a structurized read where we'll do a past present future spread something just to keep it simple here for april and then we'll get your outcome as well okay so regardless let's just see what's going on here for the cancerian regarding april 2023 nine of cups automatically coming out here for you so very self-fulfilling month i am hearing a self-fulfilling prophecy so some of you may be getting to that point where there is a self-fulfilling prophecy jumping into your month uh something coming to a completion really starting to see you coming into your own which i think is really really cool you know i'm kind of getting that feeling right it's spring which is awesome right we're starting to finally see the weather turn around the flowers are blossoming and i see the energy of you blossoming right cancer there's this energy of you blooming and it feels really really positive here for you we also have the ace of pentacles it's a time of wonderful opportunity and as you can see you know we have the tree here standing very tall you know we're looking at the branches and the leaves are very puffed out everything here cancer feels like you are rising you are blossoming and we also have here a seven of pentacles followed up here with the page of wands so a lot of the time you've taken to put into the things you're interested in are finally starting to move somewhere is what I'm seeing jumping into April 2023. So if you're a cancer and you've been putting in a lot of time into things that you're interested in, whether those are, you know, potentially maybe you started a business, potentially you started a relationship or you started, you know, doing something different in your career, something you were very uh, passionate about. You know, the things you put your passions into, I feel are finally starting to grow. And as you're seeing this growth, it's like, oh my God, it feels so good because I feel like I'm coming into my own and I feel like I'm moving into a place where I'm supposed to be. So, so far, so good. Really liking this vibe here for you. Yeah, Six of Wands showing up here and the Two of Pentacles. You know, in the past, you might have been pretty hesitant to go after something or maybe you were fearful that you wouldn't find success, but now you're starting to see that success is more easy to find because when you do what it is that you love, it's a lot easier to see the benefit and the gains. Mm-hmm. Yes, it is. Okay, Kansa. I like it, baby. I do. All right, moving on forward here from all this energy, let's go ahead and jump into your past, present, and future spread. We're going to start, though, with the overall energy of the month. So what's going to be the overall energy of the month here for Cancer? And that's going to be the Five of Cups. So Five of Cups, looking at some sense of disappointment, looking at something that's disappointed you, but recognizing that there's better options out there. As you can see, there are two cups that are still left over in the windowsill. So three cups might be knocked over. Three of Cups might be representing that joy has been lost, but there's more joy in the world out there there for you to gain and that's pretty much the realization you're having this month okay now having a look here into your past let's see what's going on there king of pentacles we also have here the temperance moving forward from that we have here the death card and we have here the two of cups so a lot has changed from your past you know it definitely feels to me cancerian that you went from a point of a lot of stability here with the king of pentacles and a lot of you know peace and abundance with the temperance here to a lot of things changing about what you had in your life you know two of cups here is what you were connected with how your life panned out the things you loved and the things that you felt very attached to so i feel like the things you were attached to most are the things that changed and it was very difficult to adapt because we are a cardinal sign we're not a mutable sign so it was very difficult to adapt to the change of pretty much losing the things you loved or losing the things you very much so felt very connected to. And it made you feel in the past here that you've lost your abundance, King of Pentacles here. It made you feel like you've lost your peace because everything here has changed. Taking a look here into the present moment in April, we have here the Six of Swords. You're focusing on rebuilding King of Cups. You're trying to look at this in a more mature space. Eight of Swords all the way to the Seven of Pentacles. You're trying too much not to overthink. All right, let's have a look here at the future, and then we'll go ahead and analyze everything for you guys in April. So what's the future looking like here for Cancer? We have here the Nine of Wands followed up here with the page of pentacles if i can grab it hold on one second y'all we have here the six of Pen uh, six of pentacles very good and we have here the two of swords showing up as well okay so cancer you know we touched a little base already 
on your past, you know, you kind of felt like you lost everything that made you grounded and everything that kind of brought abundance into your life. And looking into the present moment, it's like you're trying to rebuild here with the Six of Swords. You know, you're trying to move forward. It's like, okay, I missed out on the things that maybe I loved or maybe certain joys that were involved in my life are no longer here, but it doesn't mean that I can't find that in my future. So Six of Swords, you set out on a journey, you set out on a new course, a new path to do what you can to find things in life that are going to be fulfilling. King of Cups, you know, taking a look at your energy, the way you're carrying yourself in April is very, very different than in comparison to your past because you were carrying yourself in the past with grief. You know, I'm very sad and upset that I lost what I lost and, you know, I don't feel like anything can replace the abundance I previously had. But in April, this is the energy of you realizing abundance never goes extinct. Abundance is not something that's made out of lack. If abundance is abundance, then abundance will always be abundant. Now, I know that that was a bit of a tongue twister, but it's true. So with that being said, if there can never be lack when abundance always lives and exists in this realm of reality, then there are other forms of it that I can achieve and that I can attain, essentially, is what you're saying here. So, you know, I do see here with the King of Cups, your mental, your point of view, your mindset is changing exponentially, you know, with the Eight of Swords here and the Seven of Pentacles, you know, you're stopping, you know, overthinking, right? You're no longer getting caught inside your head and being overly concerned and thinking too much about your past and thinking about maybe the things that you've lost. It's like, this is the time right now to start thinking about what can I do to get a new beginning? What can I gain, you know, from my situation right now? I think that there's always two ways we can look at something, right? We can look at what it is we lost, what it is we did wrong, what it is we failed, or what we can start to do now to gain, what we can do better, what we can do to succeed, right? There's always two sides of the coin. There's a negative and there's a positive. So are we going to look at it as, well, here's what I lost, here's what I failed at, or here's what I can do to succeed right now, and here's what I can gain instead? You know, when you really start to think in those types of terms, it really changes your entire mindset, but it also changes your entire life because it starts kicking those gears back in action and gets you into that energy of creation, and you are a conscious creator cancer. Just like every person who's watching here, Cancerian or not, we are all conscious creators and we have that ability to draw from our present moment to create something new right here and right now. So jumping into April here, it's no longer about getting caught in your head and overthinking and worrying. It's about what can I contribute to my life now to make it what I want it to be. Seven of Pentacles. Mm hmm. I love it. Taking a look here into the future. Nine of Wands. Now, this is where things get a little interesting because, you know, in April, you feel very motivated. You look very motivated. But then in the future, the near future, Nine of Wands, that's the energy of kind of being on the fence. A little bit of doubt starts to creep in, a little bit of worry starts to happen, but I feel like right as that worry and doubt creeps in, you have your first blossom. Remember in the beginning when I did a little bit of the freestyle reading, I was mentioning to Cancerians how it just feels like in April, you're going to blossom, you know, it's that time of rejuvenation, and I think that with the Page of Pentacles here, it's like you have that first step, that first blossom, where you start to see success, where you start to see a glimpse of your new life, you start to see a glimpse of your new form of happiness, and you're like, wait a minute, this is working. I can do this. I got this, you know, and sooner than later, you know, you have that first blossom and then it starts to become a lot of stability here and a lot of comfortability here with the six of pentacles because six of pentacles here is the energy of abundance as well, similar to the king of pentacles, but it's also an energy here of equality. What I'm willing to put out is what I'm going to get back. And once you start to see what you've put out is the return of investment you got back, it makes you more motivated to start putting out a heck of a lot more energy. Remember, your return on investment will always be based upon what you've invested in the first place. So Cancerians, you start to see that you're basically your ROI, if you will, is working in your favor here. So you feel more motivated in the near future to invest. I almost feel like right when you feel like there's doubt or what I'm trying to build in my life isn't working, it's like, all right, you're going to prove yourself wrong because everything you've worked towards is starting to come back to you. And it feels really, really awesome. And then we have here two of swords. It's like, okay, I no longer should second guess myself. I no longer should be in an energy where I don't trust myself or don't have any sort of belief within me. You know, I can believe in myself. And if I continue to do so, 
I will see success going forward. So there's going to be a lot of changes here. I definitely feel like you'll be blossoming. You know, what's lost is lost, but we got to remember, man, it's all about what we can gain. You know, there's always going to be things in our future, the sun card that can make us happy. Even if we lost a form of happiness in the past, it doesn't mean that there won't be more forms of happiness coming towards us in the near future. You know, so I'm really excited to see that for you. I'm really excited to see you blossom. You know, jumping into April, right? This is the present moment row here. You know, you're working very hard on creating a new form of happiness. Whether that new form is financial stability, love, love for yourself, you know, whether that new form of happiness is a hobby, that new form of happiness is, you know, just the path that you decide to take. It's like, as long as you're working on something actively, keeping busy and striving for happiness, you are undoubtedly going to get that energy back in return. And I've been here looking at the past row for a second. I've been here because that was my whole 2021 <laughs> right here showing up in this reading, right? You know, you felt super abundant. You felt at peace. You felt comfortable. Like you had the things that you loved that brought you joy. Then everything changed. And then it was like, man, I didn't want to lose those things that brought me joy and comfortability. But I have to really start to think to myself, there are other things out there. There are other outlets of happiness out there that can make me happy and that can make me abundant. And even though I maybe no longer have some of the things I really cared about here in my life, if I know one thing about the universe, what I know is that whatever comes next is always better. You know, universe for me personally has proved that to me time and time again, that everything that I've lost was never a loss because there was something new to gain. So I started to prime myself to believe that a long time ago and 2021 just reinforced that belief for me too, because I did lose some things I cared about. I did lose some things that made me comfortable and made me feel so secure and abundant. But guess what? What was to come was far better. And that's what really reinvested my trust in the universe right there and right then. So with that being said here for Cancerians, you know, I always am a big believer that we never really lose when there's always more to gain. So I think that overall for you guys, it's going to be a pretty big difference of how you're going to carry yourself. You know, I think that the normal person, when they go through the five of cups, they go through a stage of grief and they never let go of the grief and they never notice the two cups that are standing behind them. You know, they constantly are like, I lost what made me happy. You know, a lot of people stay in that energy forever. Your mindset's going to be totally different here in April. It's like, I'm not looking at oh, well, I failed, or oh, well, I lost this. I'm looking at, well, what can I do right now to succeed? What can I do right now to gain? You're looking at it from the different side of the coin, and that side of the coin is what's going to make you successful. All right, absolutely. We got here the moon card. We also got here the queen of wands showing up as well. Yeah, Cancerian, it's like you're jumping into the energy of confidence. You know, you're jumping into the energy here where you're ready to get things done. The queen of wands here is confident. She's powerful. She's bold. She will choose to take action. The moon card here can be about getting too caught up in your feelings. And sometimes when we're way too caught up in our feelings, that can be incredibly hard to make a move, right? Sometimes we can feel paralyzed with what we're feeling when, when you know, feelings and emotions are you know, very much so at an all time high, right? So cancer, it's like you're in a space where you're processing your emotions in a healthy way. You're seeing them for what they are, but you're not allowing your emotions to be paralyzing. Instead, you're allowing yourself to thrive here with confidence with the queen of wands overall. So that's really, really awesome. Okay. All right, though, cancer, without further ado, though, let's have a look here at the overall outcome for you regarding April 2023. What's going to be the overall outcome here for cancer? Sun, moon, rising Venus throughout April 2023. And what do we got? We got here the queen of swords and we got here the lovers. Cancer, I like it. Baby, I like it a lot. Taking a look here first and foremost at the queen of swords. Queen of swords here is a total energy change and a total shift in your attitude. You know, this is the energy here of being able to cut out your past and accept it for what it is, but it's also an energy of bossing up. The Queen of Swords here does not allow maybe whatever she's lost or whatever kind of battle she's faced to imprint what her future is going to be because she knows her future is what she makes of it right now. So the Queen of Swords here is about tapping into that energy of not allowing any of the past moments you've experienced to hinder where you go forward. And with the Lover's card showing up here for you, this is a card about being connected to the life and to the things that you truly love and care about and that are truly going to make a wonderful impact on you and your life overall. You know, granted in the tarot, the lovers can represent a soulmate connection, it can represent love, but in a general sense, it represents what we're heavily connected to. And 
you know, I think that at the end of the day, whether this lovers does represent a soulmate or love coming in for cancers, having that overall general statement of knowing that you're moving into a month where you're about to start getting very comfortable, very invested and very connected to the life you're living, that sounds like a great deal to me. And I think that that's what's so important and that's what's so amazing about your blossom happening here this month, Cancer, because you're really starting to tap into that energy where it's like, I feel connected to life again. And that's the thing about spring. Spring does bring things back to life. Spring does bring the flowers back up again. It allows them to blossom. You know, the trees start to look beautiful again and pretty. You know, it's that energy of rejuvenation and revitalization. And you're going to feel that within yourself. So I love it a lot, Cancer. I really do. I think that this is going to be a month where you feel alive again and where you feel excited and where you're feeling really connected to your life again and motivated to focus on that other side of the coin, like I mentioned previously. What can I do? Let me not look at what's happened and what's failed, and what hasn't succeeded. And let me not tell myself that I can't do anything because it's bullshit, I can do anything. So start looking at it from the, perspe uh, from the perspective excuse me, of what can I do right here, right now to get what I desire and to get to that desired outcome and result. And you know, you're gonna see a lot of things manifest here for you, and you're gonna see a lot of change, okay? Cancer, this was truly a beautiful reading. Thank you guys so, so much for tuning on in. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed your April reading overall. I hope you guys have a lovely day and a great rest of your April. I do wanna mention, if you are new here and you're interested in subscribing to the channel, definitely feel free to. I'd be more than happy to welcome you here into the Soul Family. I forgot to mention this in the beginning as well, Cancer, but if you're still watching here right now, I just wanna say thank you if uh, you watched last month's reading, you guys went crazy. That reading got a lot of freaking views, man. Definitely did not expect that. I got a lot of positive feedback. So I'm happy that that reading resonated a lot or resonated very well with a lot of you. Uh, so thank you for all your support on that video, okay? But Cancers, I love you. Have a great day. Have a great 2023. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Much love and have yourselves a good one. Peace.